Welcome to Mr. G's Workbench and part two of our special edition of Get Off My Bench featuring the Italeri S100 class Schnell boat in 135th scale. If you recall part one, we completed a majority of the detail on the bow of the boat. We had gone back and repainted the decks to make them look a little more weathered. We installed the uh, anti-aircraft gun on the bow. We installed the anchor. We finished up the detail parts in the front including some wood decking I hadn't installed. Uh, we got the rest of the painting done. We got the cover for the gun area uh, placed behind the gun tub as it would be in normal. And uh, today we're going to move on to completing the details in the bridge area and start working our way back across the uh, rest of the boat. So today we're going to try to get, uh, the goal for today is to get uh, the two uh, machine guns, the MG-15 machine guns that were mounted on pintles on either side of the bridge installed. We're going to get them painted and installed. Uh, we've got the, uh, there's some uh, platforms here that were installed at the end of part one. They're going to have to get painted, so we're going to have to prime and paint them in place. Uh, unfortunately, it was the only way I could get these things to, uh, to line up properly. So, did what I had to do there. So, we're, we're going to get those painted. There's a couple of stanchions that have to get installed on either side of the bridge. We're going to get those two MG-15s installed. We've got a couple of life rings that have to get installed. There's a radio uh, mast that's going to go here, as well as a flagstaff in the back here. I'm going to get all that installed. Oh, and there's some uh, helmets. We're going to paint and weather some helmets that are going to go on the helmet rack behind the bridge. And, uh, and then we'll start planning our way back. We have to do torpedoes, torpedo cradles, uh, some superstructure work. And uh, I, I, we're definitely on the right track. I, I think we're going to bang on this one. Uh, you can see here, I, these are, I believe these are ventilators. I just, I got them in place. They were built and painted back when I was originally working on this. So I just put them on to get a little bit more of a look at it. Uh, the smoke dischargers, these are the kit ones. Uh, I think you can get some aftermarket ones on Shapeways. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to. I think I can paint and weather these to look reasonably good. And then there's some, uh, some rails that can go on the back of the boat for mine laying. So I'm going to install those. I've seen uh, some uh, mines. I forgot who made them. If I can find them, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look and we'll see if it's worth the, the cost. We may get them. They, they just look interesting, the ones I've seen. So let's jump in and uh, pick up where we left off. So here's a quick recap of what we're going to do today. Let's go through this. This is the stuff that has to be painted white to match the boat. We've got these uh, air intakes for the engines. I've got two of those with uh, photo etch for the uh, faces of them. That's from the Lion Roar set. So those have to go on. We've got these uh, two uh, brackets that go on either side of the bridge that'll support the I believe they support some of the rigging. So there's two of those. We've got two life rings. These are in the kit. I'm not quite sure what color they're supposed to be, but by all accounts, they're red. I'm going to paint them red. We've got the flag staff for behind the bridge. We've got these two ladders that go behind the, on either side of the bridge uh, behind the torpedo tubes. We've got an antenna mast. That's going to be white. We've got this little vent that I overlooked. This is going to be the deck color, that dark gray. We've got the hatch that goes behind the bridge. Uh, I'm, using the, I'm using the kit hatch because it's going to be closed. Uh, it, on the uh, Edward set, there's uh, some photo etch hatches you can form. Uh, that makes sense if it's going to be open, it's thinner, it's more detailed. It's going to be closed, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, to accompany the life rings, we've got the two brackets that will hold them on the sides of the bridge. Then we've got these helmets that are going to go... There's the helmets. 
They're going to go on the helmet racks behind the bridge. Uh, I believe they're just going to get painted that normal uh, greenish gray color. And then I, I know I said I wasn't going to spend money on figures, but I got these figures. I'll show them to you close up. I bought them on Shapeways from a company called Panzer vs. Tanks 4. It's a three-man crew. Uh, they're meant for a U-boat. supposed to be the officers on the bridge of a U-boat. Uh, to me, they look good. Uh, I'm going to try my hand at painting those. But those are the only three guys I'm going to put on the boat. I know I have the Italeri uh, Schnell boat crew. The problem with them is they're all wearing, like, they're all bundled up like it's, you know, December in the Atlantic. So, uh, I'm not using them. Then the last thing we have is, let me just switch up here and I'll show you the machine guns we have for the bridge. So these are the MG-15s that I originally bought. They're from uh, CMK on their Blitz line. Uh, they're resin, they're in two pieces. Uh, I wasn't really overly thrilled with them, but they were the only alternative I had. I got these from Gas Patch. I guess they've come out in the last couple of years. And let me just show you these really quick. These were worth every penny. I mean, those are really nicely detailed. You can see there they have the uh, the sights mounted on the front really exquisitely molded. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to come up with, uh, with I'm gonna have to scratch build a pintle mount to, to accompany them onto the bridge. But well worth the uh, well worth the money. Highly recommended. Just gotta trim off this this carry handle here and the buttstock and then just include some kind of, I'm probably going to form a wire uh, into a pintle mount. I've got the other half of the mount is already on the bridge. do is I'm going to glue in what's going to be the lower half of the pencil mount into the <clears throat> into this section here and then I'm going to trim it back probably about half that height and then that what will happen is well I'll just show you give me one second so I've trimmed that. You can see I've added. You can see I've added uh, a little strip of uh, round plastic stock to the bottom of the MG15, and then they'll kind of get glued together like a, a T intersection there, and that's how that's going to sit. So I'm going to paint that first, and then I'll install it on that on that mount right there, and then we will be done with that. I had a lot of thinking about that and. I'm glad it was a little simpler than I thought it would be. So let me get the other machine gun assembled. I'll get them painted up and we'll get them installed. <laughs>
working on the figures. This will be the last thing we're going to do today. Uh, I sprayed them with uh, the blue is uh, Luftwaffe uniform blue from Vallejo. Uh, I sprayed it on because I was having issues with it when I brushed it on. It was just kind of glossy looking. I wound up stripping the figures and, and doing it again. Now what I've got here is I've got uh, AK's uh, flesh base, base flesh, and I'm, I'm just going to put a coat of that on. I had it on before, and that was another reason that I, I cleaned these figures off. The uh, I went to do the, the next color after this, and it just looked hideous. I kind of learned my lesson. I, I was supposed to, uh, I think I was supposed to dry brush it on, and... Uh, and work with it from there and I didn't the, the brush the, the brush was very wet so I'm just gonna apply this and then next time we come back we'll we'll try and get these to look a little more humanoid but uh, these are the 3d printed figures I got from uh, Shapeways uh, I told you about them previously and uh, the the mold quality is excellent. I mean, I really like the way they look. And when I primed them and started to put on even this base flesh tone, I was I was very happy with that. Like, okay, this guy looks really tan right now, but it's uh, it's just the the base, and it dries a little lighter. I'll I'll do the other figures, and then I'll show you all of them before we wrap it up for today. So there's crewman number one, and you can kind of see, pretty happy with that. That's, like I said, the flesh color right now, that's just AK's base flesh. I still have to paint the boots, obviously, and then I'll touch up the uh, the blue on his uniform and do the details on his cap, but I kind of like it. He uh, He looks like, you know, he's not in action. And then you got crewman number two. He looks like, uh, you know, I ain't doing much of shit today. So there we go. Uh, again, uh, it's a natural pose and the mold quality is really nice. So once we get that, all that flesh color done right, I'll do the shoes and, uh, and touch-ups on the uniform and the hat. And last but not least, there's always got to be somebody in charge, so... Uh, looks like he, this is the man. He's pointing and yelling. So, uh, I, you know, I've been looking at some uniform options. They, it looks like that uh, non-dress uniform tends to be uh, a blue uniform. Uh, the <clears throat> excuse me, the hat. I think his hat will have uh, white material with a black brim. The other hats will be that same blue with the black brim. So, like I said, next time we get together, we'll, uh, we'll deal with that. So let's wrap up for today. Uh, today's work on the Schnell boat. Uh, quick recap of what we did from, from here to here. We installed the uh, 3D printed refueling hoses on the sides of the central superstructure here. We installed the uh, paper flag from True Details onto the flagpole. We installed the flagpole. We got these two platforms installed along with the wood decking for them, as well as the wood decking for the uh, lookout position here. We got helmets uh, weathered up and installed in the helmet rack. We've got the air intakes uh, installed, painted and installed. We've got the life rings on either side of the bridge superstructure installed. The ladders on the ends are installed. The antenna here, the two outrigger uh, things here. I don't know what they're really called, but they look like outriggers. We installed those two MG15s that we got from Gas Patch Models. I'm very happy with those. Uh, way better than what I expected. So we got those put in and uh, the life rings I said, the platforms, everything else. So basically from here forward we've got everything done that we're going to do. Uh, when we come back next time we're going to work on this central superstructure area. There's a gun that'll go here, a uh, compass, uh, some kind of compass structure that goes here. There are uh, three large, uh, I believe they're air vents. I'll have to take a look uh, in, in the book and see if it describes what they are. 
there's a hatch, uh, this decking, I have to decide whether I'm going to use the, the wood that I got in the line roar kit or if I'm going to paint this. Uh, we'll figure that all out next time. So uh, thanks for stopping in. Uh, if you're not subscribed, uh, to quickly change subjects, if you're not subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Just hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, and be notified every time I put out a new video. And uh, thank you to everyone who, uh, who has subscribed to date. And uh, I look forward to sharing this build with you again next time. Stay well and take care.